And now to the crisis in the Middle East where the death toll is climbing. More than 200 Palestinians are dead and about a dozen Israelis have been killed. Video here of Manhattan's east side this afternoon where hundreds of people rallied in support of Palestinians. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the latest on the conflict. Israel insists it's targeting Hamas militants. As long as Hamas and Islamic Jihad are firing rockets at our civilians, which they are doing as we speak, the topic of any de-escalation is obviously not uh, on the table. Israeli airstrikes have hit Palestinian homes, buildings and underground tunnels allegedly used by Hamas militants. Hamas has extensive infrastructure hidden underneath the civilian infrastructure. We try to minimize the effect on civilians whenever we can. Palestinian health authorities say more than 60 children have been killed. This man's five-month-old son is the only child he has left after an Israeli airstrike killed his wife and four other sons. Israel allowed some humanitarian aid and some aid workers into the Gaza Strip, a move welcomed by the UN. More than 3,000 Hamas rockets have been fired into Israel since fighting began over a week ago. About 90% are intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system, multi-billion dollar technology partially funded by U.S. taxpayers. But some are getting through. One struck a packaging plant in southern Israel, killing two Thai workers. The conflict is also spilling onto the streets in Israel and the West Bank. Israeli security forces are pushing back Palestinians, protesting the ongoing violence in Gaza. Here in New York City, a march in support of Palestine filled the streets near the U.N. In a phone call to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, President Biden reiterated his firm support for Israel's right to defend itself and for the first time expressed support for a ceasefire. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.